Uh, one of the biggest things that, that is the biggest cause of most health problems, there's two, there's two things basically. The biggest one is parasites. And uh, if, if you go to your doctor with a health problem and it's a parasite problem, they, they don't even bother looking for it. Unless a doctor sees a parasite crawling out of your butt or out of your ears, he's not going <laughs> to do anything about it. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, when some, somebody comes into my office with, with a health problem, it's a parasite problem, and that's where the live blood analysis comes in really handy because I can find it with my pendulum. So if you got Mr. Uh, uh, somebody who, who doesn't believe in the pendulum saying, you look in the blood, you can see parasites in the blood. There's a problem. It's your blood. It, it's, it's your problem. It's parasites. So easily fixed. We can use energy, tell the parasites to go away, and through biospiritual work, through quantum physics, the parasite will die off if it's a stressor. Also, using different parasite cleanses help incredibly. I always tell people that even if you're not sick, you should do a parasite cleanse at least once a year because people pick up parasites from undercooked meats. If you eat sushi, you got a parasite. Sorry, raw fish, you're going to get a parasite. It doesn't matter how clean the fish is. Water, you're going to get a parasite. From shaking somebody's hand, from, drink, from drinking from somebody's cup, you're going to get a parasite. And everybody's got a parasite uh, any given time in their body. It's just a matter of can your immune system flush it out and, and take care of it. Now, another big thing uh, I've, I've been working a lot on is Lyme disease. Okay, um, I, I did some research uh, on Lyme and I, I found uh, a lady in Winnipeg. Her name is uh, Kathleen Crank. She's a school teacher and she had Lyme disease to the point where she could not even get out of bed. So um, I researched her, I, I emailed her, and, and she got back to me, and we, we sat and talked for about half an hour, and what she did is she took a herb called SPK, it's a Hulda Clark herb, and it's designed to fight the Lyme spirochete, the Lyme bacteria. Uh, the only bad thing with, with doing that is that the toxins that the bacteria gives off when it dies is worse than the Lyme disease itself, so she went through a lot of uh, trouble with it. But she... Uh, researched it so much that uh, she did her university thesis on Lyme disease and she shared it with me and it's it's amazing um, how big Lyme disease is in Manitoba and you go to a doctor and they'll say there's no Lyme disease in Manitoba I've had clients come in they know they have Lyme disease they've seen the bullseye rash they got all the symptoms that come along with it and they'll walk and say I have Lyme disease and they say no you can't you can't have Lyme disease there's no such thing not in Manitoba but her research showed that, especially at a, uh, Buffalo Point in uh, Lake Manitoba, it's extremely high. Now, she also discovered that Lyme disease can be communicable. You can get it from a mosquito bite. You can get it from, from uh, being some, around somebody with it. Uh, blood transfusion, all different types of things you can get Lyme disease from. Lyme disease, there's 12 different types of Borrelia spirochete bacteria that you have to look for. Uh, another big thing with Lyme disease, this, this works on your DNA, is that uh, if there's a, in the DNA on the chromosomes, there's a little cap. It's called a telomere. And this cap on the chromosome protects the, uh, the chromosome itself and also connects it to the strands of the DNA. So at, over time, as that cell uh, replicates and if it becomes weaker and your body doesn't have the enzyme telomerase to rebuild that cap, that, that chromosome now becomes open. And anything else that does not have a cap on its DNA chromosome like Lyme disease can attach to that chromosome as your cell replicates it's going to replicate with Lyme disease so it becomes a part of your body so we sometimes we have to go right into the DNA right into the chromosomes and, and work that way too with Lyme disease